Now let's turn our attention to the UK. British Home Secretary Suella Braverman is at it again. She's come up with a new way to further her refugee repulsing agenda, one that's drawn almost universal condemnation. Braverman's latest gaffe took place in Washington instead of Westminster. On Monday, she gave a speech there, a speech on how to stop asylum seekers. Her actual attempts to stop refugees to the UK have failed miserably. So she proposed a novel solution. Just change the definition of refugee. Talk about shifting goalposts. According to Braverman, any woman or person from the LGBTQ community can claim asylum. They can just apply by saying they fear persecution. She says that needs to change, that the entire definition of refugee needs an overhaul. Her arguments were devoid of compassion and context, and they've drawn flag from across the board. Here's a report. Suella Braverman, the British Home Secretary of Indian origin, a child of migrants whose mission is to keep migrants out of the British Isles. Braverman's days seem to be filled with obsessing about small boats. She also once claimed she dreams about packing off refugees to Rwanda. And it seems she's all consumed by the problem of migration. I think most members of the public would recognize those fleeing a real risk of death torture, oppression or violence as being in need of protection. Let me be clear, there are vast swathes of the world where it is extremely difficult to be gay or to be a woman. Where individuals are being persecuted, it is right that we offer sanctuary. But we will not be able to sustain an asylum system if in effect simply being gay or a woman or fearful of discrimination in your country of origin is sufficient to qualify for protection. These are parts of her speech addressed to a think tank in Washington. Let's break down her point. Women and gay people facing death, torture or oppression should be given refuge. But those who merely fear these horrors should be kept away. Braverman basically said, don't come to the UK unless you're being shot at. She thinks that if you're living a miserable life because your government hates who you are, tough luck. As you can imagine, that line of thinking has faced a backlash. The UN's refugee agency has rebuked her, and many have questioned her lack of compassion. But Braverman is standing by her statement. She has also offered her solution. The extent to which the global asylum framework enables the obscuring of these categories creates huge incentives for illegal migration. This legal framework is rooted in the 1951 UN Refugee Convention. It was created to help resettle people fleeing persecution following the horrors of World War II and the Holocaust and was, initially at least, centred around Europe. It is therefore incumbent upon politicians and thought leaders to ask whether the Refugee Convention and the way it has come to be interpreted through our courts is fit for our modern age or in need of reform. Braverman said refugee laws are based on the 1951 UN Convention. She says it needs to be updated. Technically, it was updated in 1967. That was to include non-European refugees. But that's not the kind of update she wants. Instead of it becoming more humanitarian, Braverman wants the world to become more unforgiving. Braverman's own parents migrated to the UK. Her father is of Goan origin. His family was settled in Kenya, a former British colony. Braverman's mother is from Mauritius, another place with a lot of Indian origin citizens. Both Braverman's parents came to the UK in the 1960s. They were fleeing turmoil in former European colonies. That the UK allowed them in was a rare act of grace by a colonizer. And Braverman's family made the most of it. Her mother was a nurse who eventually became a politician, and Suella Braverman has followed those footsteps. It's a great success story, and it was only possible because her family sought refuge in the UK and received it. So considering her own family history, it's quite hypocritical for Braverman to deny that same opportunity to others. She says people migrating for economic reasons shouldn't be allowed, that people facing discrimination should also be stopped. It seems she'll only accept those who are fleeing death, no one else. 
But look at why migrants are fleeing in the first place. Countries like the UK spent centuries colonizing and impoverishing nations. In recent years, the West has conducted wars around the world. Innocent people get affected. Their lives get upturned. Some can't recover even after the Western forces leave. In this case, isn't it the West's responsibility to try and make up for the devastation they've caused? Braverman doesn't seem to think so. Her rhetoric shows just how far the UK has drifted from reason and responsibility, and how she has forgotten the opportunities her own family received.